Hey everybody, Mike here with The Adventure Continues. And in today's video, I wanna talk about a solution that I came up with to a problem that I don't think everyone has out there. The problem I was having is that whenever we'd go out on our adventures, we, we normally like to take our refrigerator with us, our vehicle refrigerator. And what was happening is that if we are camping, the refrigerator would last on our battery backup. We have a, uh, a Rock Pals 500 watt uh, battery bank that we use to power our refrigerator while we're camping. And the problem was that we would probably get about a little over 50 hours worth of power out of the, uh, out of the battery bank before, the, before it would die. And char trying to charge it while going down the trail, uh, it, it would actually, the refrigerator would draw more power than was being put back in to the battery bank. Now, what I wanted to do is I thought it would be nice that the battery bank and the refrigerator would be running off the vehicle. So the refrigerator would be running off the vehicle, being powered by the, by the vehicle, and the rock pals would be charged while going down the road. And then when we stop, the refrigerator would automatically switch over to the rock pals and be powered off of that. So searching online for a switching mechanism, a, a switching component of some sort. I, I, I couldn't come up with uh, exactly what I was looking for. They didn't have something out of the box, but they did have on, I found on Amazon, they did have a, uh, like a circuit board that would do that, where if it sensed power, uh, 12 volt power coming from one inlet, it would be, it would default to that. Uh, as soon as power would be cut off to that, uh, let's say you shut off your vehicle, uh, it would automatically switch over to the secondary input, uh, which sounds great. The problem is, is that it takes about a second or two to make that switch happen. It wasn't instantaneous. It, it wasn't like an uninterrupted power supply. So with that, electronics, they, they don't like to have power cut off to them. What I couldn't do is unplug the refrigerator from the Rock Pals and then plug it into the car and vice versa when uh, to go back and forth. It'd be a constant uh, shutting it off, unplugging, replugging, and then turn it back on. So what I ended up doing is I found a, uh, a single pull double throw switch on, on Amazon. It's a, uh, an on on switch. There, there's no off setting to it. So when you have it flipped in one way, it's taking power from one source uh, and sending it to the refrigerator. When you flip it in the other direction, it, it takes power from a different source and sends it to the refrigerator. So this video is not a step-by-step -step install video, but a few clips here will show what I did in order to make the switch work. Also, I drew out a schematic somewhat to show how I wired it up. Forgive me for not using official electrical symbology. So first, I open up the center console to gain access to the wires that power the 12 volt outlet, and it's those wires that I tapped into for the vehicle side of the new switch. I started there because I wanted wires that are already on a fuse from the vehicle, thus protecting the system from any overloads. I cannibalized a 12 volt extension cord and used the female end of the plug for the fridge. The idea here is that I wanted to use a 12 volt power cable that came with the fridge so I wouldn't be making a new power cord. So this step is just basically extending the location of the power outlet. The positive side from the vehicle would run through the switch to the fridge through the extension cord and then directly back to the negative wire from the 12 volt outlet in the vehicle. After these connections were made, I turned my attention to the other half of the wiring, the power from the battery bank. For that, I use the male half of the 12 volt extension cord and its wires. The positive wire from the cannibalized male extension cord went through the other side of the switch and out to the 12 volt outlet for the fridge. The negative wire would tap into the same negative wire from the 12 volt outlet in the vehicle. This completes the circuit and now we have a switch that when in one position, it powers whatever 12 volt device we have plugged in, in this case a fridge, and in the other position, it seamlessly moves the load to the Rockwell's 500 watt power bank. 
Now I can have the vehicle power both the fridge and charge the power bank when we are driving down the trails. And when we get stopped, I switch the load to the power bank and thus extending our charge time on the power bank. So I hope that was helpful and I hope that uh, gave you some insight into a, a solution that I came up with to a problem. Again, I don't know if everyone's having, but uh, I was having and uh, it's, I think it's kind of interesting. So uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. It helps me out and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.